The Queen died. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The last year, Prince Philip died during my set. You think I was gonna stop at the Queen? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for round two? Yeah! First Prince Philip, now the Queen. That's two royals in a row I've killed. That's almost a kill streak. <laughs> If I can get one more, I'll unlock a UAV. <laughs> you know, I think it's a little bit selfish of her to die. She died early this morning. Couldn't wait 12 hours? Come on. <laughs> I've got tickets to sell. <laughs> you know what I think happened? I reckon Prince Philip knew that I was going to be performing tonight, and he possessed one of the guards and smothered her. <laughs> now they're together, laughing at me, looking up. <laughs> about the Queen. She's an excellent multitasker. For example, she was an amazing husband to Prince Philip, but she was an even better cousin. <laughs> I thought it was quite sad seeing all of her family, like, travel over to see her. Even Prince Andrew flew all the way to see the Queen on her deathbed. That's the first time he's ever travelled to see a girl in bed older than 12. <laughs> She wears a $400 million stolen blood diamond called the Star of Africa on her head. Not to be confused with the stolen child star giving Prince Andrew head. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, they think she's this sweet old lady. You know, she was sweet, she liked horses. Didn't like black people though, did she? <laughs> it's true. The Queen didn't allow black people to work for the palace until 1960. Isn't that a little bit strange for a family that had spent hundreds of years forcing black people to work for them? <laughs> no, all right, it has gotten better though now. Members of the royal family are allowed to have black staff. They're just not allowed to have a black wife. <laughs> well, sorry, too dark. <laughs> That's what the Queen said about Meghan Markle. Dude, the last time I did this, I got in so much fucking trouble. Dude, I have never in my life received so many death threats from so many people so close to death themselves. <laughs> I was getting death threats from names I'd only ever seen on tombstones. <laughs> get a message from someone like Ethel. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Bitch, COVID's gonna get you first. <laughs> I can take you out with an exhale. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> So no, I will not be apologising for any of these jokes and to the journalists watching this, undoubtedly writing an article right now calling me disgusting, make sure you print this too. Fuck the Daily Mail! Yeah!